Hi, and welcome to today's lesson, Graphing Inequalities. Today we're going to look at an inequality, like 2 is less than x. First, let's define what an inequality is. An inequality is a relationship between two expressions that are not equal. We are going to see this on the number line, and we are going to see some shading. The shading represents the solutions for the inequality. Let's look at our inequality symbols. We have these symbols right here, which are going to be closed circle. And on a number line, the closed circle means that that particular point is included in the solution. So this would be our less than or equal to and our greater than or equal to. On a number line where we see an open circle, that means that that is not part of the solution. And this would be our less than and greater than. On this number line here, we have 2 is less than x. Because it is in this section, it, we know that it is an open circle. So we are going to shade an open circle at the point 2. Now we need to know which way we're going to be shading our inequality. In order to determine that, we're going to have to pick a point on either side of 2. So I have a point here at negative 4 and I have a point here at five. Now we'll read the inequality, and whichever inequality is true is the side that we'll shade. So here I have two is less than, or two is less than, I know that two is less than five. So that's going to be a solution to this inequality, and I'm going to shade that side. So notice that I have a closed point at five. Five is one of the solutions. Everywhere else that my shading is, is also a solution. So for this inequality, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on are all going to be solutions for 2 is less than x. Is 2 less than 2? Here we see why we have shaded an open circle at 2, because 2 is not less than itself. So we're not including 2 in the solution, just everything that comes after it. Let's try another example. Here we have x is less than or equal to negative 3. So of course we're going to look first at what type of circle or dot I'm going to be putting at negative 3 here, our point. So I remember from my diagram that a closed circle means it's included in the solution and those are our or equal to's. So I have less than or equal to here, so I'm going to be using a closed circle at point negative 3. Just like last time, I'm going to pick a point on either side of negative 3 and fill it in for the inequality to see which one is true. So I have negative 6, which is on the left of negative 3, and then I have 0, which is on the right of negative 3. In order to see which one is true, I'm just going to read the inequality. Negative 6 is less than or equal to negative 3, or 0 is less than or equal to negative 3. I know here that 0 is not less than negative 3, so it can't be this choice, so it must be this one. Now, I notice that my point negative 6 is shaded, so I'm going to shade that whole side, and all of these would be solutions for this inequality. Is negative 3 less than or equal to negative 3? Well, negative 3 is equal to negative 3, so that's why this is shaded, because negative 3 is one of the solutions for this inequality. Let's recap. The steps for graphing inequalities, you'll first identify open or closed circle based on the inequality symbol. Then you're going to pick two points, one on the left and right side of the circle. You'll substitute each number in for the variable and circle the correct one and then shade the number line the direction that makes a true statement. That wraps up our lesson. Thanks so much for tuning in. Feel free to click to subscribe for this and other lessons. Until next time.